Hello and welcome to this week's Angelical Card Reading for week commencing the 15th of April 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your Divine Presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness, remember why you are here, step out of that spiritual closet and take the steps to fulfill your purpose in this lifetime so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now this week we're using the Archangel Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper but as always before we get into this week's card reading I'd like to say thank you so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services so thank you so so much. And with that in mind um, don't forget I do offer a free 20 minute video call to discuss where you are now and where you want to go to so that I can guide you on your journey, whether that's to work with me or point you in the right direction. So please do check that out. And of course, do check out the uh, Future Life Progression Practitioner Training that I'm running on the 19th, 20th and 21st of July. It's a brilliant opportunity for you to add a new therapy to your holistic services or to start something new. And of course, in the training, you also get to practice um, and experience going forwards and backwards in time as well as taking other people and of course the business side of it is absolutely brilliant and there's loads of shorts being posted at the moment so do um, look out for those and do check out the link and of course I am still running Angelic Craigie I'm doing a three and four workshop this weekend so there's still a, um, a space left so if you have done one and two with myself or anyone else and you want to do three and four get in touch with me and if you want to take that trip on the angelic realms then I'm going to be doing the one and two workshop in August again so you can start from the beginning. So as always I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 15th of April 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week commences on the 15th of April 2024. Okay, so let's see which cards are coming out for us today. Go that one, and we'll go with that one. Okay, so we have got Archangel Zadiel, give and receive love, obey the spiritual laws. Seraphim, Seraphina, be an ambassador for Earth, build your bridge to Source. And Archangel Perlimik, let nature soothe you, serve the nature kingdom. Okay, so what the cards are saying to me um, this week is that this is a week where you can't be selfish. This is a week where you need to work with others to share your time, your energy, your love, your knowledge, your wisdom, whatever it is, this is a week to share with others, whether that's other humans, animals, nature. This is the week to do that. This is a week to be generous, um, you know, with your time, not, you know, not just with money, but with time and um, patience and being there for people. This is a week to be giving out love to others, but not just giving out love, but allow yourself to receive it, whether that is from other people, whether that's from animals, whether that's from nature, whether that's from angels or spirits. This is a week to really go within, love yourself, love yourself so much that that love just radiates, radiates out to everyone and everything um, that is out there. And when you're in this vibration of um, love and generosity and joy this week, you are actually helping raise the consciousness of Earth. You are part of that wave of um, new Earth energy, um, new ways of living, new ways of being, you know, that peace, um, that joy, that understanding, that community, that looking after nature, seeing that the Earth is a living, breathing thing that you know, we should cherish and love. And when we love her, then she loves us back and nature grows and thrives, um, which sustains and nourishes us, which then sustains and nourishes our families, our friends, humanity as a whole. 
And if you get the chance this week, you know, go out in nature. Nature is such a soothing, beautiful um, place to be in. You know, even if you just sit with your back against the tree or you sit on some grass or on a park in a bench, you know, try and find some nature somewhere. And if you live in the middle of a city, um, you know, try and find a little bit of green space. And if you can't, find a flower shop. Go, go and just look around a flower shop. Um, you know, or look in the flower shop window, that's connecting with, with nature. Buy a plant, you know, that's connecting with nature. Watch the birds, that's connecting with nature. So there's lots of different things you can do if you're not literally able to go and find grass or trees. You know, you can bring that nature, you can bring that nature in. And if the worst case scenario, find a nature program on TV or on your computer, or on your phone, and just bathe in that energy. You know, there are lots of short videos um, of people out in the countryside doing nature walks, um, waterfalls, you know, there's guided meditations with waterfalls and wows and all nature things. Listen to those as well. Immerse yourself in nature this week and you'll find that it will actually soothe you. It will make things much easier for you in your life. It will actually keep you calmer and actually allow you to be more focused and more present so that you can understand how you can be of service and help others and to be generous um, to other people with your time um, and your and your love. You know, this this is a time to remember um, as above, so below. You know, what you give out, you receive. What you receive, you give out. There's always a give and take. And that's how, how nature works, how balance works. And when you can stay in that balance this week, such amazing things are going to happen. You are going to feel so calm, so peaceful, so abundant, knowing where you are going and what you are, and what you are here to do and being that catalyst to help raise the vibration of Earth. So it's really kind of like going with love and generosity and being an ambassador to earth this week, you know, understanding, um, nurturing, loving nature, loving yourself, loving all living things and stepping out there and being you and allowing nature to be that balm, that soothing balm that takes away all the negativity, the pressure that's going on around. Zone out of that this week and you'll find it'll be so beneficial for you. Anyway, as always, that's my interpretation of the cards. You may get a completely different interpretation and that's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So I'll show you the cards again. They are Archangel Zariel, Give and receive love. Obey the spiritual laws. Archangel Pearlmeek. Let nature soothe you. Serve the nature kingdom. What can you grow? Seraphim Seraphina. Be an ambassador for earth. Build your bridge to source. Connect. Be one with nature. And please do let me know in the comments or message me privately whether these cards resonated with you, whether you got your own interpretation. As I always reply to everyone who um, comments uh, on the card readings. And don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday, takes place on Monday the 15th. If you're watching Monday the 15th, then it takes place um, 8 p.m. UK time in the evening. And if you're watching later in the week, do watch the replay as I've got the beautiful Nancy Reed as my guest. Um, on my show so I'm really looking forward to that conversation and do check out everything I have to offer and how I can help you connect more with the angelic realms and bring that beautiful energy into your life. Have a wonderful week, take care, bye.